Hi, my name is Rachel Jang and I'm a Global Product Manager for Liquid Analysis at Emerson. Today, I will take you through how to connect a Rosemount PHORP sensor and contacting conductivity sensor to a Rosemount 1058 dual channel transmitter. Before we begin, be sure to have on hand both sensor quick start guides, which contain instructions for installation and calibration. These quick start guides can be found on the Emerson website. There, you can also find the product data sheets for each sensor, which contain ordering information, model specifications, and accessories. I will start by demonstrating how to connect the Rosemount 3900 BP PHORP sensor to the Rosemount 1058 transmitter. The wire connections required between the PHORP sensor and transmitter depend on the transmitter model, the sensor model, the sensor cable color, and whether the sensor has a preamplifier. To determine if your PHORP sensor has a preamplifier, look up the model string description in the sensor's product data sheet. This PHORP sensor does not have a preamplifier, so I will use the corresponding diagram in the wiring section of the quick start guide. With the screwdriver, loosen the four screws on the face of the transmitter. Then pull down the top of the cover. Thread the ends of the wires through an appropriate cable gland, which I have already done, and install the cable gland into the transmitter. Now, partially pull out the PHRP sensor card and follow the wiring diagram to connect each wire to its respective location. Use a screwdriver to loosen each of the terminal screws before inserting each wire, then tighten the screws after each wire is in place. Now that all the wires are in place, slide the PHRP panel back into its original position and close the cover of the transmitter, then install the four screws. Attach the VP connection, then power up the transmitter. Then begin the quick start initial configuration process. More information on the startup procedure can be found in the Rosemount 1058 transmitter manual. Now I will demonstrate how to connect the Rosemount 400 VP contacting conductivity sensor, which has a different sensor card, to the 1058 transmitter. Use the corresponding diagram in the wiring section of the sensor's quick start guide. Once again, remove the cover of the transmitter by removing the four screws. Thread the ends of the wires through an appropriate cable gland, which I have already done, and install the cable gland into the transmitter. Partially pull out the contacting conductivity sensor card and follow the wiring diagram to connect each wire to its respective location and use a screwdriver to secure each connection. After all the wires are in place, slide the contacting conductivity sensor card back into its original position Close the cover of the transmitter and install the four screws. Attach the VP connection, then power up the transmitter. Then begin the quick start initial configuration process. This completes the overview of how to connect a Rosemount PHORP sensor and contacting conductivity sensor to a Rosemount 1058 dual channel transmitter.